as you will see, all the masa is literally hand baked. Yeah, I think we can go. So this is literally the same process of baking matzah from time immemorial, never changed. Okay. This is literally how they uh, put the the, uh, put the flour into the water. And if, if you can see, there's a divider because no water is allowed to touch any part of the entire process. And everything has to be completed under 18 minutes by hand. You have to clean it, sparkle, no residues would be allowed to uh, get in contact with any metal uh, from the previous uh, batch. Everything by hand, everything by hand. And the moment you start rolling it, you cannot be unattended.
to the Egyptians was the firstborn. Every male was going to be visited by the angel of death. Let my people go. Let my people go. And so this represents the unleavened bread because the Israelites had to flee and they had to flee quickly. They couldn't wait. And the great link between the great religion of Judaism and Christianity is the Jews were instructed to take the blood of the lamb and to put the blood of the lamb over the lamp posts, over the door posts. So when the angel of death came and saw the blood of the lamb, the angel of death would pass over their homes. And then finally, Finally, they would be permitted to leave Egypt, led, of course, by Moses. The great link between the blood that was put above the lamppost, the blood of the lamb, is Jesus Christ is known as the Lamb of God. It's his blood that we believe. And the great link is it was the blood of the Lamb that saved the Jewish people. And in Christianity, it was the blood of the Lamb of God that saves all of us. It's a wonderful, wonderful holiday for our friends in the Jewish community, the Passover. Because... But it was the blood of the Lamb that allowed the Israelites to finally receive the exodus from Egypt. And then the great miracle in the Red Sea, where the Israelites, led by Moses, were able to pass through the dry land on the Red Sea and escape the oncoming Egyptian army. So when I think of it, I see it as a link between our friends in the Jewish community and our brothers and sisters in the Christian community. And together, we all worship one God, a great God, who loves us and expects more from us than just the things that we, that we would think about in terms of ourselves. And the greatest Jewish tradition, which brings such great strength to America, is the fact that Jewish boys and girls are taught from an early age that you live a life bigger than yourself. You live a life around community. You live a life and care about somebody else, sometimes people you don't even know. We're going to have a moment to go to a school where we have young Orthodox Jews who are experiencing some, we call them disabilities, 
Maybe the Lord sees it in a different way. They're made special, different than we are. And we're going to go and we're going to look at the love that's laid upon not just the Jewish boys and girls who suffer from autism or any form of disability, but also it's a school that's uh, open to all people. Because that is the great tradition of the Jewish community. Everyone is invited to come and understand the blessings and the grace and the work of the Lord. Happy Passover to all of you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I, it, you know, we use a judgment when it comes to any part of the Bible. But do I believe that the, that the angel of death passed over the doorposts be seeing the blood of the Lamb? Yes, of course I believe that. And do I believe that the Israelites were saved with the parting of the Red Sea? Of course I believe that. So, and I would commend it to you to think about. Governor, why didn't you name, you name Donald Trump and Ted Cruz University this morning? And how do you think it will actually here in New York and nationally when you've been struggling. Well, look, I'm, I'm doing that just to go and, and gain in the polls. I think it was an important statement and an important speech. I'd commend for you to read it because I'm a believer that we, we always aim towards the light, not towards the darkness. And uh, first of all, I don't think I'm struggling so much in New York. We're doing fine and we're going to get delegates here in New York and we're going to get delegates in a number of other states and we're going to head to the convention with a message that you can either choose to look at the dark side and the problems and the failings and the frustrations of our country and drive people deeper into them, or you can recognize the problems and drive people with hope, with the ability to come together to solve problems. I think the speech speaks, uh, uh, to, it speaks for itself, and anybody that chooses to drive America on the dark side is not, is not doing a favor to the American people because we will we will overcome. What is the number one problem you're hearing around the country? What is the number one problem 